So we are uh, in the second last topic of this chapter, which is the ground state energy of helium. We let me rewind uh, what we have done so far in the variational principle. The first thing is that we use the variational principle due to the reason that we are not able to solve the Schrodinger wave equation directly for uh, systems or especially the complicated systems. And variational principle is something which gives an upper bound to the ground state energy. Whatever we calculate the Hamiltonian, then it will always be greater or equal to the ground state energy and that's the reason we are saying that it is giving uh, an upper bound to the ground state energy. So here um, in this chapter so far we applied this thing on a harmonic oscillator and we estimated the ground state energy which came out to be exactly the same as we calculated in the earlier part of the chapter then we applied uh, the ground state energy approximation or the variational principle on the delta function in the delta function uh, we estimated the ground state energy then we used the infinite square well geometry and over there we consider a step potential and to get out of the step potential we use the delta function because we faced a singularity and we estimated the ground state energy and now we are in a complex system which is the hydrogen which is the helium ground state energy calculation and about helium we know that we have uh, the ground state energy of helium which has been calculated experimentally and this is equal to 78.975 electron volt now for the hydrogen atom we have earlier calculated the ground state energy uh, which is minus 13.6 electron volt so can we utilize that energy in order to calculate the ground state energy for helium and we will be using that thing much over here now uh, if for example there is a better approximation we know that helium we are having two protons in the nucleus and then two electrons are going around this nucleus we are having their uh, probabilities and now in this situation what if we do approximate this thing like this is composed of two hydrogen atoms like one proton with this one electron and another proton with this electron so it's like uh, it's like two hydrogen atom and they are fused together but if we will be using only the hydrogen atom wave function then the fusion we will have to consider that what parameters we can consider so first we will start from a very simple geometry and then we will add up some complexities to this geometry in order to reach closer to the experimental value and that is our job we will be doing here so it's uh, uh, the variational principle as long as it's concerned let me rewind the things that in variational principle what we do we consider a trial wave function if the trial wave function is not normalized we normalize the trial wave function and we do calculate the expectation value of Hamiltonian on it now it matters how accurately we write the Hamiltonian of our system which is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy there will be a, as long as the system becomes complex then there will be more and more parameters they will be involved while calculating uh, the ground state energy of the helium atom or any other geometry we are uh, 
having the, the expression a function and we know that uh, we utilize we have done earlier that we minimize the Hamiltonian because whatever we do with this it will always come out to be greater or equal to the ground state energy so it means it cannot be less than that thing and we have proved this thing that's why we are saying that the variational principle is giving an upper bound to the ground state energy it cannot be less than the ground state energy so we will uh, start with this one and for the trial wave function in order to be on a safe side we will use the hydrogen atom wave function which is in the first orbit uh, for n equal to 1 we will ignore uh, the other fine details for example some uh, orbital are like the fine structure or the hyper fine structure details mean uh, the spin as well we are not considering those things and we are trying to reach with simpler calculation towards uh, the ground state energy of helium so let me write the Hamiltonian and the Hamiltonian is equal to minus h bar square over 2m and for one then one square and for the other like we are treating it two hydrogen atoms together and then this is the kinetic energy term and we are having the negative term for the potential energy and here e square over 4 pi epsilon naught this is the columbic attractive potential and here we have 2 over r1 r1 for the first and then r2 for the next whatever you consider order then we know that this is basically the z equal to situation here when the atomic number is equal to two and then we have the another term minus e square for another electron and proton columbic interaction and two over r2 square and then there is another term here because this electron is basically repelling this electron so there will be a repulsive term as well and that repulsive term is positive and we have plus 1 over this is e over 4 e square over 4 pi epsilon naught and 1 over r1 minus r2 and here i will when i will draw a diagram then i will consider why we are writing r1 minus r2 uh, because that is uh, in the coming part of the lecture now if i uh, see the kinetic part then the potential energy part and then here it is also a potential but it's a repulsive one because the two electrons are repelling each other whatever is going inside the nucleus or what other features the electrons are having we are ignoring them we are not taking them into account now let's say we are first keeping the thing simpler and we are ignoring this term which is the electron electron repulsion term we are ignoring this one and then we are doing our calculation now the trial wave function which is the hydrogen wave function so our psi naught will be r1 and r2 equals psi 1 0 0 for n equal to 1 while l and s we are considering them 0 so this is in the first orbit we are considering and this is r1 and then psi 1 0 0 and r2 here so this is 8 over phi 
and a cube we have uh, earlier this wave function in chapter 4 for a hydrogen atom so this is e to the power minus 2 and here we have r1 plus r2 over a we know that a being the Bohr radius here in this expression now is we know that the energy in uh, like two hydrogen atom situation then we know about the energy that the energy en is equal to minus and z squared this is z squared and e1 e1 being the ground state energy of hydrogen atom over n square so if i put n equals to 1 and z equals 2 then i get that this energy the ground state energy it comes out for helium for helium this comes out to be like 2 square is 4 4 over 1 square is 4 minus 4 and e1 is 13.6 electron volt so this energy is 8 times this will become 2 e1 so we have uh, this thing is 4 times e1 and this is the energy of uh, 1 here we will have we will have the energy of helium and we are calling it like 100 zero zero. and then this energy will come out to be we can write like uh, minus 4 times this or we can write equal to e1 so minus 4 e1 is this energy and then for the helium for the total helium it will come out to be uh, two times this energy for both one zero it will come out and then this is two four is eight so minus eight into 13.6 electron volt and then this energy will come approximately 109 electron volt and if we do compare this energy with this one then this energy is far more higher than this one and there are reason because we neglected we just considered the helium is like two different hydrogen atoms and that is not good so this is one of the first approximation that can we proceed this way so the answer is that no because we have to consider some realities over here helium is not two hydrogen like atoms and now we get for a better approximation and what we will do we will consider our uh, hamiltonian and inside this hamiltonian we will we will consider this term so if i look to all this hamiltonian then this all hamiltonian tell here this is basically the hydrogen like hamiltonian and this is our H naught and about this one this is our basically the electronic electron electron repulsion term so this is basically our H is a combination or H is basically here if we don't ignore that term then this is equal to the hydrogen Hamiltonian plus there is an additional term which is the electron electron repulsion term then if I do calculate the expectation value of this then it will be the expectation value of this in the expectation value of this and about the expectation value of H naught I know that this is psi H naught and psi 
and this thing we have earlier calculated that this thing is coming out to be 109 electron volt or this is equal to 8 times E1, E1 minus 13.6 electron volt. So we know about this thing and then we will come here toward the calculation of this term which is basically the VEE -E terms and we will calculate this one and we will see that when we don't ignore the second term then what ground state energy what upper bound to the ground state energy we are basically getting